Since the inception of the Millennium Development Goals in 2000, the Millennium Development Goals have provided a guiding framework globally. The Millennium Development Goals have catalyzed significant improvements in the lives of millions of the world's children, but they have not yet brought enough change. With three years to the end of the Millennium Development Goals in 2015, we are 15 years off track and it is the children who are paying the price. The UN decided to hold consultations on what next will happen after the ex expiry of the current development framework, which we all know very well uh, has uh, eight Millennium Development Goals. So as World Vision, given the niche we have of working with the children, we felt it was important this time around to involve uh, children uh, to voice their concerns, their interests and their aspirations in the context of the world they want. Our world Vision uh, decided to participate in the national level consultations. In Uganda we took lead uh, in mobilizing children in 11 districts and the total of slightly above 660 children and youth we we are consulted ekyo kubanza tuina mazibaga ku mara ati nkaita abantu bavutimba wile bona mazu na mbetu ugaleta tukubate mayiwe muyona bawa holi yete kafwa ata kusanga nke ekyo ite kidikizibu kyetu nkabana since the goals were set in 2000, many of the world's most vulnerable children have missed out. As we look to 2015, we recognize that not every goal will be met. You know, most of the times we think that children uh, lack agency and they are just um, recipients of development. But when contacted children really have issues that are happening in the community, they are observer and they see what is going on in their community. And when given an opportunity, they are able to express themselves and tell you the actual realities in the communities that they are dealing with on a daily basis. There are very many reasons why we drop out of home. Mm -hmm. Dad abuses me so much using Balka language and he takes alcohol, of which me since I came back from school, I've never read. I'm always stressed all the time. Government, a young center, Mungudo, at Government, a take of Yambio Mala, Mumasomero. A Masomera Gamu, one end of a mark of wet detour, a Masomero Manch, and Kuya Tonya, a visit by Nedip Bess Avana. A song and Dara Octongel of Kumi, Mobitundu Yafe, and Bitundu Yafe Telibu Kumi Mala, about the buying Langa, a bag, and a Katrina Nap Saturate. Corruption. Now, when I I talk the word corruption, I mean maybe to eat bribe. Now you will find our leaders in there, our leaders who are there in our villages, they are they are mishandling us. Even when they promises you that you give me your votes, I will have to do for you this and this. I will build for you hospitals and whatever. He can't. The world must accelerate efforts towards the achievement of every goal. Even the best case results will leave the job unfinished after 2015 because the goals themselves aim only to half world poverty. Cognizant of the fact that about 57% of Uganda's population is youth and children between the ages of 0 to 18 years and 78% is under the age of 30. World Vision strongly believes that children and youth have a right to participate in the decisions that affect their lives and not just be passive beneficiaries and clients of development. Um, one of the outstanding issues that children brought up was the poor education facilities that they have in their community. They were also concerned about um, the employment for the youth. They also expressed concern over the um, food security in their communities. And the children were also concerned about the poor health services in their community. That's why you are seeing that this woman is seated. She is in labor pain, but there is no way she can assess the hospital 
because the roads are all poor, you can also from the down diagram here. This vehicle is heading to the hospital, but the, but the road is all that the public controls. Therefore, the movement is restricted. The UN post-2015 consultative process presented a golden opportunity for children and youth to engage in the formulation of post-2015 development framework. World Vision, being a child-focused organization, believes that children and youth participation can have an important impact on the outcomes of the post-2015 process. This exercise was very important in that it has given us information that we hope is going to feed into the national report on the post-2015 consultations because Uganda, we have a very youthful population and uh, we need to listen to them because they are our future. They are the ones who will be leaving that development framework. Number one to the bone, yeah.